Good morning, everyone, and welcome to my presentation. First of all, let me thank you all for coming here today and give me your precious time from your busiest schedule. So, myself, Uttam Kumar, is going to present a topic in front of you that is file storage using hybrid cryptographic cloud computing. So, as we are going through this presentation, first let me thank my supervisor, Dr. Sumit Kalra, who has supervised me during this project, whole project completion and creating this report and creating this PPT and guided me well uh, for this project. Uh, so let's uh, quickly go through the content and go through what we are going to discuss on the presentation. So the agenda of this presentation is, first, we are going to have an introduction about the project. Second, we are going to have a literature survey. So literature survey concludes how we are going to resolve the issue or how we are going to overcome our problem statement and what literature survey or what existing work has been done or not. If yes, uh, what are the existing work that has been done in this category? So next thing is algorithm used means which type of algorithms we are going to use to come the output of the to conclude our output of the project or what algorithm we are going to use for developing this project. And next thing is design and implementation plan means what is the design of our project? and how we are going to design and implement it that we are going to discuss in the design and implementation plan. And at the last, we are going to have a conclusion. What does this whole project means and how it's going to resolve the issue and how we can see this project in a bigger picture. So without wasting the time, let's start the project. So first, the introduction of the project means you all are thinking like what drives me to adopt this project or work on this project or think about this issue so let me go through that first thing in nowadays in modern world people don't don't use as our traditional devices so by traditional devices i mean uh, in previous time we are using usb compact disc hard disk for storing the pictures, images, files, etc, etc. So nowadays people are not preferring those devices because uh, the major drawbacks of that devices are they are physical devices and it's very costly uh, as those are physical that, that are very costly and it, they needs to be carried everywhere you want to have the files, images or data. So to overcome this issue, we, nowadays we are having a cloud storage. So people are storing various things on the cloud, like photos, images, videos, and a lot of things. So people are shifting from the traditional storage devices to the modern storage devices that is a cloud storage. So here the main problem comes, means why we want to introduce the project of why we are working on this project. So while the user uploads the data on the cloud, they don't think about the data security. Nowadays, people blindly upload the data on the cloud and they don't even care means how their data is going to be misused. So what nowadays is happening is hacker or cracker misuse their data or they are taking benefits or uh, they are misusing their data and using in some other purposes or some harmful purposes. So to reduce this, to overcome this problem, we are introducing this project which encrypts the data while you uploads on the cloud. And there is only you who can access that data. And other than you, no one is going to able to access the data. So. This is our main purpose of this uh, going uh, main purpose to introduce this project. Now, we are using a hip, uh, cryptography method. So, 
what cryptography we are you going to use we are going to use hybrid cryptography so what is hybrid cryptography hybrid cryptography is a concept that is used for securing the storage system of a cloud there is a two different approaches are used to show the difference between uh, what we can say less secure data and more secure system the first approach we can use for this project is rsa and aes algorithm so what this algorithm will do basically so the rsa is used for key encryption and is aes is used for text or data encryption in our project maybe we can use that concept or in the second concept we can say we can use more secure approach as compared to the earlier we can use aes and crowfish algorithms in this approach this two algorithms provide double encryption of our data and key which provides high security as compared to the first one so this is the main concept of our project so let's quickly go through the literature survey part so the data encryption is our main concern so we have researched we have gone through various papers that lead us to the conclusion means how we are going to implement our project means how we are going to achieve our target so these are the authors these are the author of papers which has written uh, very useful information about the data encryption and how the data is going to be encrypted and centralized so i have preferred the papers that is written by punam v matri m maharshi mika vopel in the respective year of 2014 16 and 18 so by taking their ideas or by uh, or we can say that by encouraging from their ideas i'm tend towards this project and i have worked on this project or i have keen interest to work on this project that is encryption means data encryption while we are using while we are uh, using cloud storage or is within a cloud storage so let's go through the algorithm that we are using in our cloud storage or we can use we can say that uh, in whole system which algorithms can be used so as discussed uh aes and plowfish these two algorithms are we are using as a double encryption method to secure the data so what is aes algorithm that first thing comes in your mind is what is aes algorithm so the aes algorithms is nothing but the advanced encryption standard and also known as uh, resendel is a symmetric key block cipher algorithm having three fixed a128 block ciphers with the cryptographic key sizes of 128 192 and 256 bits so this will crypto this will encrypt the data in cryptographic manner the aes algorithm has a maximum block size of 256 bits whereas key size is unlimited the aes design is based on the substitution permutation network and does not use the data encryption uh, standard that is 3ds because the 3ds but because the aes is more faster and reliable or we can say stronger than 3ds algorithm that's why we are using advanced script encryption standard algorithm because as we can as we have seen in our normal days why we are going for the good let's go for the best that's the main motive of our project means we can use triple ds also but instead of that we are using advanced encryption standard algorithm next algorithm we are going to use is plowfish algorithm so the main concept behind the plowfish algorithm is in less memory size it can encrypt the larger amount of data so using a using aes and plowfish algorithm we are encrypting the double means we are encrypt we are providing the double encryption over data and key which provides security compared to which provides the security So 
we are using a uh, double encryption over data set key over data and key which provides high security compared high security so to make the centralized cloud storage secure the algorithm is implemented the approach uses single key for encryption and decryption and complete process take place at a client side they cut is cool you want to part cut cut so we are using double we are using blowfish so we are using blowfish algorithm for the double blowfish and aes algorithm for the double encryption next and next algorithm that come into the picture is rsa algorithm so we are using rsa algorithm as an asymmetric cryptography algorithm so what is the role of rsa algorithm when we are using uh, aes and plofis algorithm the main role comes in the rsa algorithm is while we are using while we are dividing the data into the n bits so while we are dividing the data into n bits we have to assign some public key to identify the data that we have uploaded so for that we are using rsa algorithm to divide the data into n bit and providing them a public key so that is the main concept of using rsa algorithm that is the main motive of our project means there is a two layer encryption we are using first we are encrypting the data with a key or we are availabling the data with the key and second after uploading also we are dividing the data and we are providing a key to that data also means we are dividing the data into the n bits and we are storing it at a random place so while the user wants to access the data they have to just give the key and from the key the public key, from the public key all data will be gathered and provided to the user that is the main concept or we can say the spinal of our spine of our project so let's see let's now see the design and implementation plan how we are going to achieve our target or how we are going to complete the target so to make the centralized cloud storage system the ecc we can say elliptic curve cryptography algorithm is implement, implemented the approach uses single key for encryption and decryption and complete process take place at the client side so first step that will happen is authentication so first user have to authenticate so so user can authenticate by using the credentials or giving a key or anything so either they can give a key or user can give credential either they can give a key and credentials or by giving their biometric the by biometric also the automatically they take a key assign a random key to the data and user can access the data or can upload the file so second the user now upload the file after login they can upload the file and upload it to the cloud the next thing that is going to happen is the user who uploads the file the data which is being uploaded is being secured by uh, aes and rsa algorithm means it is secured by aes and plofish algorithm so by using those algorithm the data is going to be secured or we are we have already discussed that the double encryption is going to happen and data is going to be secured the next thing is the data is going to be divided into the n parts and all and in, for those n parts we are generating a public key for encryption and decryption so there is a four uh, four we can say four method we are following first we are authentication we are doing the authentication second the key generation operation third encryption and fourth decryption so authenticate first the user has to authenticate then file is uploaded by the user third key generation operation will be going to happen fourth encryption and having a 
public key for all the data which is going to be divided into n bit and third decryption and recombining the whole files and give it to the user so user can access while sitting from any cafes or any bars or any restaurant they can sit and just provide their biometric or login credential and can access the data so this is the main concept of our project and in this way we are going to implement the project now the summary of the project comes into the play means what is the conclusion and what will be we we are going to approach from this project so this project implements a double stage encryption algorithm that provides high security scalability confidentiality and easy accessibility to multimedia content of the cloud the proposed algorithm is a crucial in the second stage the randomly generated key provides more security than the conventional encryption system the cipher text is stored in the cloud instead of original multimedia content as we have discussed the data is going to be divided into n parts and all the public key will be given to that data and while we are accessing we are having a private key and we can so we can access the data so in this way the whole things comes into play means user can access the data user can download the data by giving simply a biometric or a login credentials and the data will be first secured into two part first the data encryption using aes and blofus algorithm and third the data will be divided and uh, every public key will be given by rsa algorithm so in this way our project will going to happen so uh, anyone can be sipping a tea at any time and in the background in the cloud the data is secured fully secured and they don't have to take any trouble that their data is secured or not so this is our main concept means the user's data that is most precious thing can be secured using our algorithms and using our project that is our main role so thank you for having us giving us your precious time and giving us your precious time and listening the presentation very carefully hope you enjoy it and gain some information from it thank you and have a nice day bye